What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Ghost here, back here today with another video. It's been a crazy news day, especially in the NFL world. J.J. Watt is going to CBS to be an analyst. A few players in the NFL got suspended indefinitely for gambling. We're going to cover it in today's video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and turn on notifications for more content like this, man. Let's get it, man. Let's go. So let's talk about this J.J. Watt situation. He's obviously retired officially. You know, some players retire, change their mind and come back, but he's officially retired J.J. Watt and he's officially going to be joining CBS Sports as an NFL analyst on a multi-year deal. I, I love it when sports players, when they retire, they go, you know, be an analyst on the desk because you can get in-depth details of the game from players like J.J. Watt. I mean, the NBA does it with their, with their desk. The NFL does it too, but I just love that these players, you know, it's happening more and more, basically. I mean, I, I don't really have much to say about it. I mean, it's a well-deserved thing for him. I mean, he was in, uh, a Hall of Fame player as a defensive end. Um, obviously, we know his he has crazy stats as a defensive end. And, you know, I think, I think this is definitely going to be interesting it's gonna be good definitely because he'll be on a desk and when football games go come on on cbs we'll hear him in his details as, as far as what he would see in the game on the defensive side of the ball and what he would see you know as a defensive end looking at the an, an offense a quarterback so i'm excited to see that from him man i, I really think this is going to be very entertaining to see him on the desk i know he has a not a lot of lo knowledge and I think this is good for him. So good for him. Let's talk about the next topic. So let's talk about this whole gambling situation. Apparently, I believe six or seven NFL players have been suspended indefinitely, which means no timetable on when they will return. They're definitely suspended for the season coming up. But this is just crazy. I mean, if we talk about someone specific, cornerback, former cornerback for the Colts, Isaiah Rodgers. He won a $1,000 bet on his own team's over and under in rushing yards in a game, according to ESPN. So basically, this guy knew, he knew the game plan for a specific week of what the offense was going to do. He bet the over and the under, and he won because he knew what was going to happen. He knew his team. Now, I don't know what game. They didn't say what specific game. Maybe they rushed for over or under. But he knew what the game plan was going to be for that week. So, of course, he would win it. You know, he won that bet. Most of it, apparently, most of his bets were in the $25 to $50 range. But the $1,000 bet was his large, his largest wager he placed. And he won that bet. Look, they shouldn't be gambling, bro. I mean, that's, uh, that's destroying the integrity of the game. Yeah, he's not on offense. So, it's like a eh type of situation. But, like you knew like you knew what the game plan was probably going to be for that week you know because you're on the team you go against the offense you know in practice so you know what they're practicing otherwise you know you're on you're on the team you shouldn't even, even if he wasn't on the team and he was on another team it's still bad that he was gambling but uh, other people were caught gambling too but him specifically this story is just crazy to me um, you know, some people have theorized, you know, insider information that he's gotten for what type of, you know, insider information and stuff like that. But the Colts have officially released him and he is suspended. I doubt he'll get signed to another team because he'll be untrustworthy. Um, and that goes for the other players as well. It's just, it's just crazy. Like you get, you get blessed to, you get blessed to be in this position to make millions and you 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 win a thousand dollar bet but you lose millions it, it sounds like you lost that bet to me bro i ain't gonna lie to you because damn i mean why why you're making millions why bet why you're making a million millions of dollars why are you betting on games that you're a part of like you're a part of this league now if you were betting on basketball games nobody cares but you're a part of this league so you shouldn't be shouldn't be doing that right so I, I highly doubt another team is going to sign him when he comes back from suspension. He's going to be suspended for a whole year, definitely. He'll probably he'll probably be, be reinstated next year, but I doubt a team is going to want to sign him. He's untrustworthy. 
Former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick says he's still waiting for an NFL team to call him to resume his NFL career. He's been training for five to six days a week. Look, Colin Kaepernick, I love you. I love what you stand for, but I mean, you're 35 years old. No team, no team is going to call you. They would have done it by now. There's been teams, bro. There's been teams in the NFL over the last few years that were literally down to their third string quarterback specifically the 49ers themselves I'm gonna be honest with you how they how they got to Brock Purdy they lost Jimmy G they lost Trey Lance and that left Brock Purdy teams will literally sign people off the street before they sign Colin Kaepernick like Brock Purdy was a third stringer and they still chose Brock Purdy like I'm sure some people might have said what about Colin Kaepernick nah Look, Colin Kaepernick hasn't played in years. That's not happening. He would have been he would have been signed by now. I know he wants to keep his his hopes up, and that's fine. But like, don't don't bet on getting back in the NFL. If anything, go play in the XFL or something. At least show people that you still got it, because there's no reason for them to sign you when they could. There, you, you can have three to four quarterbacks on your squad. You know, with the regular roster, the practice squad, teams are carrying will carry about four QBs. So like, unless I just don't see him getting back in. I don't. I don't. I don't see it. It's no point. He wasn't really. And, he, and let's be honest, when he got kicked out of the league, he wasn't nice. He wasn't playing unbelievable. So let's not act like, oh man, he was in his prime. No, he had his prime years. He got to the Super Bowl, but after that, it was kind of downhill i'm gonna be honest let's let's not act like oh man he was nice nice he was nice for a couple seasons but after that he wasn't really nice he wasn't he wasn't and not because if he if he was elite i i I firmly believe he wouldn't have gotten kicked out of the nfl i'm gonna be honest I'm i'm gonna be honest and uh so don't get don't get your hopes up kaepernick but you know, I, I I wish you the best of luck, and uh, but yeah, don't get your hopes up thinking a team is gonna call you. You'll be you'll be waiting the rest of your life for that call because it's not gonna happen. For the final topic of today, just a little topic: the Rams are signing free agent Akello Witherspoon. It's a solid pickup for the Rams. I mean, I'm a Steelers fan, so I'm fa- I'm familiar with his game. He's he's solid. He's a solid guy, but when it came down to it, he he got burnt a few times. He's inconsistent with his health. You know, he's had a few injuries and, you know, uh, he might play, he might give you four games, five games, but after that, it's going to be bumpy because, you know, injuries, he's kind of injury prone, but he, he he was solid, but he wasn't nothing spectacular. Let's be honest. I'm going to be honest with y'all. He wasn't nothing spectacular. He was very inconsistent with his play. But this is it's a solid signing for the Rams, you know. Gets he's he's not elite, but he's solid. I'll give them that, and and good for the Rams, you know. I mean, you know, we know they lost Ramsey and whatnot, so this is something that could make them feel a little better, but not really because he's solid, but he's not elite like Ramsey. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, okay. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications for more content like this. I'll catch you guys later.